Once you have installed and configured the Core Archive connector, use the Cloud Connector URL provided at the end of the configuration to log in. Enter this Cloud Connector URL into your web browser, adding backslash archive backslash BA. This will take you to the Core Archive Administration login screen. Refer back to your email from OpenText with your credentials and sign in with the business administrator name and password. The first recommended step is to change your password by navigating to the menu in the upper right corner. This will prompt you to sign in again with your new password. Next, let's create a collection to enable leading applications like SAP to archive documents and data to Core Archive. Select Add Collection and enter a name and purpose. Under Options, you may enable Archive Link. Enter an archive name to address this collection and enable connector encryption if required. Under Retention, you can define a default retention period using predefined retentions or your own retention policy. Select Save. This may take a minute to complete. You can navigate back to Collections from the menu on the left to find your new collection, which SAP can archive into and retrieve from. If you wish to set a custom retention policy, select Retention from the menu on the left. Enter a name for your retention policy and enter the number of days, months, or years. Then navigate back to your collection and select your newly created retention policy to apply it. If you want to define or connect to SAP systems, select Environment from the left menu and select Add SAP System. Enter a name and a purpose. Under SAP System, enter the connection points, including host, client, feedback user, and other required credentials you get from the SAP administrator. Once you have an SAP system configured, navigate back to your collection. And under Collection Properties and Options, you can select the SAP system configured for SAP assignment and save to enable archiving from the SAP system.